<laughs> Missile Command. What a great game from the early 80s. I remember first seeing Missile Command at a local movie theater that me and my brother used to go to quite often. It was called the Indiana Theater. It was located in Terre Haute, Indiana. It was in the around the downtown area. It was actually a really cool old Victorian style movie theater. It used to host live plays and stuff like that, but it had a really great movie screen in there and a really awesome wide open uh, area to sit. Pretty cool movie theater. But at this movie theater, they had a little arcade section. And one night when me and my brother were heading out to go see some movies, we went into the arcade there to see what they had new to mess around with before we went to the movie, and there was Missile Command. Now, it wasn't the upright version of Missile Command. It was the environmental cab. If you ever get a chance to play Missile Command in the environmental cab, I highly recommend it because it is so much fun. Especially when they got the bass turned up. Because you really feel the explosions in your derriere as you're playing the game. It's pretty awesome. But I was really enthralled with the game. Uh, I loved the trackball. I liked the three buttons to control the bases. It, it was actually a really fun game to play. And of course, not long after this, uh, it came out for the good old Atari 2600. Now, when I saw this on the store shelves, I had to get this game. Now back then, the way I usually got video games is I would do household chores like, you know, mow the yard, you know, move bricks or, or something to try to earn some extra money so I could buy video games. So, this Missile, Man, Missile Command cartridge cost me approximately two yard mowings before I had money to go buy it. <laughs> but when I bought it, I played the game for hours on end. I, I, I didn't really mind using the joystick. It, it played really well on the Atari 2600 using the joystick. Didn't have a bit of problem playing it. I like how they got the sounds in there. Uh, it, it plays really close to the arcade. It's missing a few things, but nothing really major. It's still a very enjoyable game. It's still one of my go-to games on my Atari 2600. So anyway, let's take a look what came in the box. So now let's take a look at the Missile Command box for the Atari 2600. Another nice orange box. I really love the artwork on here. This one came from Kmart. Originally sold for $24.88. This is not my original one. This is the one I picked up for the video series. And it has the special children's feature, feature, which I like to call the Willy feature, so I can play the game halfway decently. 34 video games on here. On the back of the box talks about one or two, one or two player game, active ballistic missiles, interplanetary ballistic missiles. The smart missiles is what it's referring to. Same old fare. Used with a joystick controller. I know track uh, trackballs is what's preferred to play Missile Command, but this actually does pretty well with a joystick controller. So in the box we have our Missile Command cartridge. Awesome. I love these picture labels. And our instruction book. Missile Command. Another color manual, which I really like. Great artwork on the front cover. Open it up here. And your commanding orders. Oh, what's this? Aliens from the planet of Krytol have begun an attack on the planet Zardon. The Krytolians are warriors out to destroy and seize the planet of Zardon. Zardon is the last of the peaceful planets. The Zardonians are skillful and hard-working people. Their cities are built up in rich in resources. It is a truly planet void of crime and violence. Zardon has built a powerful defense system. Several anti-ballistic missile bases have been established within the cities of Zardon. The Zardonians are ready for this attack and are prepared to fight to save their cities. As base commander, it is your responsibility to protect and defend the six cities on the planet of Zardon. The Krytolians have begun firing interplanetary ballistic missiles. They are aiming at your cities and missile bases. Your only defense is to fire back with anti-ballistic missiles, but watch out! The Krytolians are shy. They also have cruise missiles. 
Cruise missiles look like satellites, but they are just as deadly as interplanetary ballistic missiles. Use your anti-ballistic missiles, ABMs, to stop the enemy before your happy and harmonious planet is destroyed! <laughs> Using the controllers, console, controls, scoring table, our game variations, the very helpful game selectric matrix. Pretty awesome. Oh, we got some helpful hints here. What we got? You may fire up to three defense missiles simultaneously after pressing the controller fire button. Move to the next enemy site and fire again. Do not wait for the explosion before moving. Once a city is destroyed, you no longer can defend it. So concentrate on your missile base and save cities. Ignore enemy fire aimed at cities already destroyed. Well, yeah. Smart enemy cruise missiles are easiest to destroy if your target control is directly on them. When it's directly on them, the enemy cannot detect your ABMs. So yeah, when the smart missiles are coming down and they try to dodge your fire, if you get your little cursor right on the little guy and fire, he won't be able to know it's coming. Pretty awesome. What a great game. I love Missile Command on the Atari 2600. So much fun. Thanks for watching.